Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to make broccoli spinach quiche. And here are the ingredients. Let's get down to our recipe now. Today we're making spinach broccoli quiche. The first thing you want to do is preheat your oven at 375 degrees. What I do is I get the pre-made pie shells. It's a lot easier and it saves time. You want to find one that has butter. And I use Vermont Pie Company. They use butter in their pie shells. They, they cook up really easy. They're nice and crispy. And they're really a good shell to use. But go ahead and put them in a pie, in a pie plate and have them already thawed. Then what you want to do is get six to eight yard eggs. Now the reason I use yard eggs is because they don't have hormones or antibiotics injected in the chickens. They are a slight bit more expensive, but really not that much more. You need six to eight eggs. And try and keep the shells out. Oops, got a shell in there. You want to slightly beat them so the yolks are broken. And you know, like I said, I have four children and I try and include them as much as I can in the cooking, but sometimes you really, there's days when you don't want them in the kitchen. But this is really cute. This is a little whisker. We found this at some store and one of my kids picked it out and I bought it. I thought, why not? Then they had their own little whisker. I thought that was really cute. Six to eight eggs. Next, you need a teaspoon of salt. And I like using the sea salt and I put it in this little container, which I thought was really cute. I'm into these cute little things, aren't all women? But I like using stuff like this because when you use a shaker, it's really hard to get the amount that you need. But you need one, what did I say? One teaspoon of sea salt, and then one half teaspoon of nutmeg. Go ahead and stir the salt and the nutmeg together slightly. And then you're gonna start adding your other ingredients. Next, we're going to add one package of frozen spinach. Now, I use all organic vegetables, and I'm not going to spend the time today to really convince you how important organic is. I will talk about it in a future DVD. But the reason I use organic, number one, it's so much more flavorful. And did you know that as far as fruits and vegetables, the sweeter the fruit or vegetable, the higher the mineral content? And that, that makes sense because when you get organic vegetables, they've been grown in soil that have ordinances and, 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 and inspections and everything that actually has been rotated. The vitamins, the minerals are in the soil and the, the fruits and vegetables, the produce, actually take that up into the roots. That's why they're, they're more nutritious, they're more flavorful, they are a little more expensive. And that's one thing I want to talk to you about. When you say something's more expensive and you're cooking with it, what I suggest you do is find other ways to cut your expenses in some other form. For instance, if you're going to start cooking more at home and having healthier eating habits, which that's what we're talking about today, start thinking about ways that you can save money so you can put a little bit of extra money into more higher quality, more nutritious ingredients. One suggestion I would give you is, for instance, let's say you go out to dinner seven days a week, five days a week. Start going out to dinner three days a week and cooking at home those other days. Because by the time you have the gas in your car, you use the gas, and the way gas prices are so high, that, that's right there is expensive. You, you take the time to go to the restaurant, you wait to be waited on, and sometimes, depending on where you go, you're going to wait and wait and wait and hopefully have a good meal and then come home. You've used up a lot of time. So you're really not saving time by going out to eat, and you are spending more money. I use a lot of frozen vegetables. Some vegetables are out of season, they're hard to get. Sometimes I don't have time to run to wherever I have to go to the whole food market or the, the grocery store, wherever I'm getting them from. And so I use frozen. Frozen isn't as good as fresh, but it is a, a lot quicker. And sometimes, especially organic vegetables, the way they freeze them, it holds a lot of the vitamin and mineral content in there. You can even tell how dark this is. It's very, you just, you don't want to overcook it, for instance. If you're going to use frozen, just barely cook it. Okay, I'm using a package of frozen spinach, and then you want to squeeze it and drain it so it's not all watery, and you're just going to slowly mix that in. 
I'm also using a package of frozen broccoli. Now, if you have a family, let's say, that doesn't like broccoli, then leave the broccoli out. This is a recipe that is kind of like your own recipe. You kind of make it the way you want to make it. But I like to put broccoli in. My oldest son likes broccoli. Everybody likes spinach. That's a package of frozen broccoli. Now you want to put in one chopped, finely chopped onion. This is an organic onion. Of course, I just use all organic because I love it and the flavor is incredible. Just keep mixing it up. Now if you'll notice, there seems to be less and less eggs in there. What you can do is you can add more eggs as you go. It's going to make a bigger quiche. But again, this recipe is fun and it's easy and really there are no rules with it. Now, another thing I've added to it, and I'm using, for instance, the cookbook that I'm using, this, using today is out of the Maximum Energy Cookbook. That's the recipe that I'm using the quiche out of. But in that recipe, you don't have the sun-dried tomatoes. I just realized the other day I put sun-dried tomatoes in it and everybody went crazy over it. This is the best quiche you've ever made. What have you done different? And I'm thinking, what did I do different? I put the sun-dried tomatoes. Now, what I do is I buy organic sun-dried tomatoes. I like these because the olive oil flavors in the tomato. Another thing that is a quick time saver, I chop all this ahead of time, but to save time, instead of putting it on the chopping board, I found that you get your poultry scissors and you just cut them. So much easier, just don't cut your fingers. But to me, anything that can save time is worth it. I like to do things fast. It was a real challenge writing cookbooks with my temperament because I like to say I'm gonna throw in this and throw in that, and my husband would say, did you write the recipe down? Well, yeah, but I can't remember what I did. So I've learned to have to write, to write the, the quantities down and everything. Now the sun-dried tomatoes go in with everything else, and you can put as many as you want to in there. I just put a cup in. And the last thing you're gonna be putting in is organic grated cheddar cheese. You could use Swiss cheese, it will change the flavor. The cheddar, I use a sharp cheddar because it's more flavorful. And when you put it in, it's the last ingredient. So you're gonna mix it, but you don't wanna over mix it. Just get the cheese in there so it's, it's fully mixed. Now you have enough filling for two pies. Well, quiches, but it, to me it's a pie. I don't know what kind of pie you'd call it, but it's a pie. Go ahead and evenly distribute your ingredients in both pie shells, and I need to bring the other pie shell over here. Now one thing you can do is you can add more eggs. If you want a real eggy type quiche that's got a lot of eggs in it, you can add more eggs, but I like it to have a lot of fullness and, and, and be real thick, you know, with vegetables and stuff like that. And this, to me, is one of the most nutritious, quickest meals you can make for company, for your children. My children love it. And I make their lunches every single day because I just don't care for the lunches they get at school and I don't know what they're going to give them. And I'll take a piece of quiche and put it in a piece of Tupperware and that's their lunch and they love it because you can really eat it hot or cold. Now, make sure the middle isn't real high because the middle is going to take the longest to cook, just like a, a regular cake or something. So you want to spread it out and kind of have a little bit higher sides than you do middle. That just helps it cook more evenly. My oven is at 375 degrees, so we're going to go ahead and put these in the oven. One. when it comes out, I have a really fast oven. This is your finished product. And it is so good. I hope you've enjoyed this simple, healthy recipe for your family. And I look forward to seeing you next time.